Hadacha, additions to Esther, 12. On that day did the king Achashvarosh give at the house of Haman, the Yahudim's enemy, unto Echter, the queen. And Mordechai came before the king. For Echter had told what he was unto her. And the king took off at his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Eth Mordechai. And Achter set Mordechai over the house of Haman. And Achter spoke yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to put away Eth the mischief of Haman the Agagi, and Eth his device that he had devised against the Yahudim. Then the king held out at the golden scepter toward Echter. So Echter arose and stood before the king and said, If it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be, I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse at the Sepharim devised by Haman, the son of Hamadatha the Agagi, which he wrote to destroy Eth the Yahudim, which are in all the king's provinces. For how can I endure to see the evil that shall come unto Eth my people? Or how can I endure to see the destruction of my kindred? Then the king Achashvarosh said unto Achter the queen, and to Mordechai the Yahudi, Behold, I have given Achter the house of Haman, and him they have hanged upon the gallows, because he laid his hand upon the Yahudim. Write ye also for the Yahudim, as it likens you, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's ring. For the writing which is written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's ring, may no man reverse. Then were the king's scribes called at that time, in the third month, that is, the month Chivan, on the three and twentieth day thereof. And it was written according to all that Mordechai commanded unto the Yahudim, and to the lieutenants, and the deputies and rulers of the provinces, which are from India unto Cush, a hundred twenty and seven provinces, unto every province according to the writing thereof, and unto every people after their language, and to the Yahudim according to their writing, and according to their language. And he wrote in the king Achashvarosh's name, and sealed it with the king's ring, and sent Sepharim by posts on horseback, and riders on mules, camels, and young dromedaries. Wherein the king granted the Yahudim, which were in every city, to gather themselves together, and to stand for their life, to destroy, to slay, and to cause to perish, at all the power of the people, and the province, rather, and province that would assault them, both little ones and women, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Upon one day, in all the provinces of King Achashvarosh, namely, upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar.